today on West Coast Avengers. I'm looking at Genji Ito. Hi friends, welcome to another episode of West Coast Avengers. This is a little bit different than what I normally do. One night I felt like cracking open this brand new book that I bought, Twisted Visions, The Art of Junji Ito, and uh, enjoying one of the finer edibles that the state of Washington has to offer. And by edibles, yes, I do mean a little bit of that Mary Jane juice. <laughs> anyway, it's a little different. My mind was kind of all over the place. This is a kind of little experiment that I just wanted to do to experience his art for the first time while on a different plane. You know, it's something a little fun. You might find some humor in this. You might really enjoy seeing his artwork along with me for the first time. Or maybe you just want to see how I react to seeing Junji Ito's art. And now, enjoy the video. All right, friends. Bringing you a special episode today. And let's just crack it open and, well, we'll check it out together. All right, so I picked this up, The Art of Junji Ito, Twisted Visions, at a uh, store in Seattle, uh, Kino, Kino Kunaya. Uh, so this is part of Awajimaya, which is this great Asian uh, grocery store. They have this bookstore in Seattle, in the super, in the market, and it's legendary. A lot of people talk about it because they get these imports, and I guess it's probably the best place to find uh, imported books and you know just all different stuff there. They had a lot of Miyazaki uh, products, you know, movies, but prints and stuffed animals anyway their manga section is huge they also have an upstairs that has a translation so it's an english manga um and that's where i got this now one of my goals for 2023 was to uh was to get into japanese comics a little bit and so i read some dragon ball and i've read uh, a little bit of this a little bit of that but all right so i i don't really know what to expect i've never looked at his artwork before it was safe for a couple of like you know seeing some of his stuff a little bit quick but the, uh, I'm just getting, I, 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 I'm a little high and, uh, I'm just, um, really exploring this with an open mind. Um, I forget what the phobia is, but it's that the porous, uh, patterns or something like that. Oh, that's horrifying. This is pretty dope. It's almost like an optical illusion. Um, cause it's like, oh, you're spiraling into your head, but the eyes there and the eyes is spiral too. And the pupil and is that, uh, is that Christina Ricci is Wednesday Adams. I wish the whole thing was printed like this, which is like a, a silk screen maybe. But, you know, it's still got the glossy pages. All right, so this is not, start. it does not start off as trippy, uh, but it's still pretty heady. You know, you get a severed head. It kind of looks like Michael Myers, but it's not. Kind of, maybe that's inspired by a little Frida, Frida Kahlo. Man, it's like uh, we're windows, we're looking into ourselves, but also like nothing, it almost looks like the wall's moving. I think I, 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 think I had a crush on a girl like that in high school. Man, they're not kids, but they're not like adults. I think that's what makes them creepier. You know, I, I, I had no clue that he had a, a maybe an early period of art like this, or maybe this is something that he just does to kind of, to get away from this kind of imagery, but uh, some beautiful, beautiful works here. I'm sure this is from something, but maybe it's just kind of like, okay, this girl broke her leg, she's in a private school, and she's about to go terrorize her fellow students, but first she had to kill the school fish. I don't know. Or maybe she was in there and she broke out. I don't know. This stuff's amazing, though. Whoa! Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. I mean... I, 
how does somebody kind of imagine this and then also have the talent to put this on paper a a after getting it out of their head or, or like this. I mean, the Easter Island statues, but there's just some weird imagery. I don't know how to feel. I feel like, like looking at these two images, I just feel like this is uh, pieces of a, a bad dream that you can't remember. You know, it's like a plot that is in your head, but this is all you can get out onto onto the you know the the paper. Oh, so we do get some non-glossy. Okay, so it's it's different now. Uh, is she maybe maybe it's this girl? Could be. Oh yeah, yeah. This is a scene where the person's a stranger says, "Hey, can I come out?" And yes, come in. Come inside, come inside, and murder probably ensues. I'm just projecting my feelings onto all of Junji Ito's artwork. All right, so, yeah, maybe this is a weaving plot. He comes in, and that's that's him. And th there, maybe there's zombies. Another one, like s Snake, but Nightmare. The crossed hands and the swirly chair. That probably means something, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Another just kind of pretty unassuming girl and who knows what she has behind her back in her hands. Tommy. Okay, so this is a horror story and Tommy. So wait, is this an overlying theme? I don't know. Oh, this must be from a something called Tommy. Once again, I'm high. I I'm high, okay? So it's part of this story, Tommy. Well, Oh, okay, because Uzumaki's a different book. That's that's horrifying. Although, kind of wish I would wake up to that every once in a while. You know, just every once in a while. All right, so Uzumaki, okay, so I get it. It's a book. First time I remember looking at Junji Ito's artwork, so I don't know if this is kind of how his books go from glossy to the the matte, matte paper with the, you know, like the silk, the screen printing. But, uh, all right, so this is Uzumaki. This female's kind of all, at least this type of female character kind of all looks the same, but there's different eye color, and I guess the hairdo. So it's like, you know, this is, she's, she's got curls with demons in them, and then she's got cinnamon, cinnabons. And also two different color hair, so. Yeah, no thanks. Well, maybe? I mean... It depends. Like, do I survive the uh, the death of <laughs> this person's turning blue? Man, that also feels like a dream. Kind of normal for a, a little bit, but two different styles of painting. So this dude is just. I guess he's he he really is illustrating painting and and doing all this on another level. Eye in the sky. It is kind of frightening. Whoa. Comic Tim? Um, snail demons. See, it's interesting. It is kind of like, uh, I don't know, it's like a, a swirling tornado. But you look here and you feel it. You feel it because everything's spinning in a different way. This is spinning this way. This is spinning this way. I guess everything... Every, so everything is going counterclockwise. Nope, that's clock. Everything's going clockwise. You can see it. Look, here and here. Although, I guess that would be counter. Nope, that's clockwise. Yeah, so everything's swirling in a clock, clockwise direction. And they're just long for the ride. So that was Uzumaki. And then... Yeah. Alright, so then it switches to this. What's with the swirls? I, I don't know what Uzumaki's about, but there's lots of spirals and swirl. Oh. Wow. Maybe it's a time. Maybe it's a death spiral. One time I got really high, and this is what happened. Yeah, everything's a spiral. It's, it's pretty wild. They're here, they're here, they're here, they're here. Even in the arms. Man, this is what it's like to uh, spin out. You gotta... Oh! Escher. Some Escher in here. 
some MC Escher. I'm feeling it, just in a different way, but I feel it. Yeah, it's just stuttering, studying the spirals. Oh yeah, I, I, you know, when they say face melting, I love that image. I want that. It's interesting when I originally saw this, when I first looked at this, this image, you know, eyes are a window to the soul, and then I realized it's the windshield, it's a window. And they're all eating ice cream, it's the ice cream man. This is the satanic panic, that's what I'm going to say this is. This kind of reminds me of a little, maybe, uh, Margaret Keene sperm head balloons. This is wild. But they're nooses. Oh, wow. We are our own nooses. Or our demons are always chasing us. Which is true. You know, it's it, maybe this is probably something on taking your own life. I can see a lot of... There's a lot, a lot going on in this painting. It's, it's haunting, but it's beautiful. The Mummy? That's... That looks like a cool movie poster. It's really nice. It's so weird. Like this guy, who who painted this, also did these works. Wow, it's wild. I apologize uh, for the slight glare on here, but uh, I I fixed the lights halfway through, uh, so hopefully that that works. So there, the, whenever there's characters, it says he he he. It, it translates he. So this is laughing. Um, yeah, that's kind of maniacal. Jeez. I mean, honestly, if I ran across this kid, this guy in the forest, I'd shit myself. See, it just it just went to like a different level. And it's burrowing into my brain now, like this thing. This is what my like evening thoughts are like. My darkest thoughts look like that. His style just changes and like and his painting style changes like his process and it's amazing maybe aside from Clive Barker I've, I've never really seen art like this before and even Barker is a little more abstract than this like his ideas are uh, not as abstract but his 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 process his painting his his illustration is more abstract this this is more abstract in thought. Um, it's wild. This looks like uh, walking through the house on the rock. See, and then something... This is simplistically horrifying. Because what's more horrifying than the deep blue sea? And I don't mean deep as blue as my hat is like a shark's fin. I mean where there's really no light. It's a sunken battleship. And then all of a sudden an angler fish crab. Like these things could live in the deep sea. You know, it's kind of a, kind of looks like maybe a mix between a 1950s pre-code horror book and something from Japan. Wow. Hello. The great eye in the sky is watching you. This is pretty insane. No, there's two eyes. It's just this is in the... Unfortunately, in the centerfold. I mean, what he does here is impressive. This, this see, this now looks like it could be some, uh, maybe, uh, New Mutants book. Junji Ito does the New Mutants. Not so much that, but that's also fantastic. Yeah, because when you see it, that's when you have to look away. So I'm looking at this, and I went over to this, and then I looked at it, and then I saw this guy. Hey. Oh, I hate it. I hate it so much. 
this is less terrifying than that and this is absolutely terrifying because you like try and see is it one girl or is it two girls one head or three girls one head it's really hard to tell because there's 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 six legs Aww. Uh, I just got really lost in this pattern right here because it, it almost looks like there's something else I should be looking at Picked up the cat and uses it in an accordion. Uh, this is humorous too. This is really, this can be really humorous. <laughs> I love that band. Oh wow, the Ode to the Scream. This is amazing. Look at that, finger bent. Sometimes class be like that. That's beautiful. See, I like this. I wish he. I wish there were. I. I need to track down whatever books he's done in this. And feel free to drop your recommendation down below. Uh, this is not a full story. This is an art book. So I have yet to experience a Junji Ito story. Um, this is the most terrifying thing in here and I it doesn't it's not skeeving me out uh, for the holes It's just terrifying This is close to that too but, yeah, That's on another level Whew. This is beautiful I don't what I gotta figure out what book this is from kind of looks you know it would be really cool if somehow Neil Gaiman could get Junji Ito to illustrate a Sandman story. Woo! I love sharks, and this is now my new favorite image. Look at this. Stop. You've reached the end of the art section. Close the book and flip to the back cover to read the interview and index. Oh, so you go, you, you read it from here, and you go like this. Okay. Wow, this is amazing, and here are uh, this is where all the art comes from. So I'll I'll be reading this on my own. Junji Ito, Twisted Visions: The Art of Junji Ito. Uh, that was an experience. Like, I know this may not be the video that you're all used to, but I definitely want to try and incorporate videos like this uh, to turn other people on to to what I'm I'm doing and the stuff I'm reading. So, you know, it's all about the. Uh, the love of comics and you know Japanese comics manga is uh, the, the biggest selling type of comic in the world and um, it's you know I want to try and embrace it and and understand it because it's a different type of experience and now I know this is just an art book it is a different type of storytelling and it's it's very fast-paced so I, I'm excited to read my first Junji Ito story uh, I hope you really enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the like and subscribe and all that and um, you know, if you live in a state where the weed is legal, well, enjoy. Uh, and if not, make sure that you help change that law and make it legal. All right. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. It was a little goofy. It was 100% improv. Just kind of happened one night and decided to go with it. And maybe I'll do more videos like this. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And pick up some beautifully haunting art by Junji Ito. See you next week on the... All right, everybody, it was good. Adventure.